Welcome to the Empowering for Life broadcast. Prophetic teachings for an empowered life. Now, let's join Beverly Lewis. Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to Empowering for Life Prophetic Ministries. And I just want to thank God for you on this morning. Glory to God. As we have entered into 2006 and we are expecting great and mighty things for God to do in and through our lives on this year. Glory to God. Uh, as we enter into this 2016, people of God, I want you to know that there is great things that is in store for you. There's a great horizon uh, that is near and up on you for God's goodness and his purpose for what he has ordained and purpose for your life in 2016. So it doesn't matter where you are in your life right now. There's a word from God that will encourage your heart and uplift your spirit to let you know that you're not stuck, but you can move forward. We're entering into a season right now where we have a great opportunity to be able to move forward and to press on to the higher calling in God through Christ Jesus for what he has purpose and ordained for our lives. So you don't have to feel like you're stuck where you are but you can move ahead you can look ahead you can look up and you can arise from right where you are to the place that god intended for you to be in 2016 and i don't know about you but i'm excited for you amen because i can see what god has for you and what god has for you in 2016 it is good and not evil that you may have an expected end what god has for you this year is what God will do to crown your year with his goodness. Glory to God. As you have taken the initiative and the desire to want to move forward for the purpose of the higher calling through Christ Jesus, there is a word for you on today that would encourage you to be able to move forward, to cross over to the things that God has desired and purpose for your life. So no matter where you are, if you're at home or if you're at work, and you have an opportunity, I want you to take this moment to ask someone and to invite someone to be able to view the telecast on this morning because I truly believe that this word will bless them, will strengthen them, will encourage them, and will help them to push and move forward for what God desires for them in 2016. On this morning, our foundational scripture will be coming from the Gospel of St. Mark, beginning at verse 35, chapter 4 and 35. And it reads, it says, On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. And that's my topic for you all this morning that God has laid upon my heart. That it, to tell you that it is time for you to cross over. You don't have to stay stuck. You don't have to stay in the same place. But it's time for you to be able to cross over to what God has for you in 2016. What does it mean, prophet, is when you mean to cross over? To cross over means it is a part a place of crossing from one side to another. I just told you, you don't have to feel like you're stuck because God is releasing a power this morning to give you the encouragement, to give you the endowment, to give you the power to move from where you are in that place where you may have thought you were stuck, in that place where you thought you couldn't move no further. God is endowing you with power on this morning to be able to cross over to the other side. Oh, I am excited for you on this morning that you are able to move from where you are to where God desire you to be on this morning. What are you going to cross over from? Some of us would be crossing over from our disappointments, amen, into God's divine apartment. Hallelujah. Some of us will be crossing over from that overwhelming place where everything begins and it seems like it was overwhelming us because we seem like we couldn't move forward. But I tell you on this morning, you do not have to feel like you're going, you're no longer overwhelmed, but you will be able to look unto the hills which come in your hell. David said, when my heart was overwhelmed, I look to the hills which come with my help because all my help comes from the Lord. You may be in a place this morning, but I tell you, God is getting ready to cross you over to the other side, to the other place. 
prophetess will mean that God is getting ready to allow me to move from this place, from this desire that I have been longing and feel like I couldn't move forward? Yes. Just keep your eyes on Jesus and watch him help you. Watch him push you. Watch him catapult you into the next place that God will allow you to be able to cross over. Even he's going to allow you to cross over from obstacles and obstructions that has been in your way. You know how one time in your in a season where you were in your life, you know, it seemed like every time you would move forward, it seemed like something would allow you to get to a place where you had to yield to something. Or the next place where you, you seem like every time you went to move forward, there was something there to stop you and to block you. But I come on today to tell you this is your day of crossing over. This is your day to moving forward. This is your day that I declare to you that what was in the past no longer have to define your future of what God has for you in your life as you begin to cross over you're going to be able to cross over to those things that has been allowing you to cry out in the midnight hour i come to tell you on this morning that god has heard your cry he has seen your tears and he's going to allow you to be able to feel the joy of the lord that's going to give you the strength and tenacity to be able to move forward glory to god god wants you to move forward he wants you to be able to cross over from that place where you are you don't have to stay there god has given you the power and the strength to be able to move on it is your crossover moment this is your crossover from the place where as you've been feeling and been sensing that you have the ability to do it but you just didn't have the strength i speak strength into your life right now in the name of jesus that you as God impute strength in you from even the things that you felt like was pricking you, that was a thorn in your flesh, the thing that been agitating you and irritating you and stopping you from crossing over. I declare and decree right now that that moment in your life is over because God's strength is going full and his strength is being made perfect in your weakness and he's infueling you. He's endowing you with the power of God to move forward hallelujah someone that is looking at the telecast right now you know that you have been desiring a promotion but God says to tell you on this morning that the promotion is yours if you're willing to get up if you're willing to take the tenacity if you're willing to take a bold step out of on the word of God and come in an agreement in alignment with God is speaking over this telecast on this mo on this moment you will be able to move ahead amen he will allow you to rise above your companion oh i thank you right now for the boldness that is being released as you begin to take the initiative to be able to cross over of what god has promised you for this promotion you don't have to fear we bind up the spirit of fear right now because god has not given you a spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind glory to god i just thank god for promotion that is coming into your life i thank you for the praise report that will be released in in, in your life for what god is about to do in and through your life as he allow you to cross over out of the old into the new amen he's giving you the power to leave what is all behind you and to be able to press forward into the new we know that the word of god prophetically declared that you can't mix old wine skin with new wine skin amen but i come to declare to you on today that god designed as you cross over amen that he wants to do a new thing now because you are crossing over and god is allowing you to cross over into what he has ordained for you in 2016 it doesn't mean that you're not going to go through things it doesn't mean that you won't have to go through any circumstances or you won't have great warfare but you will have a strength of god to be able to leap over those things in your life that was trying to stop you and block you glory to god i feel the anointing and the power of god in this place look i just want you to take courage on this morning that you don't even have to feel like you're in a down in, in a low place in your life because on this morning as God crossing you over from that low place of depression from that low place of discouragement that's what I hear the spirit of God that is speaking right now that you've been in a low place because the enemy has put a spirit of depression upon you but by the power in the spirit of God spirit of depression I command you to lose some 
and let them go in the name of Jesus. This is your crossover moment. Glory to God. You know the scripture in, in uh, Joshua chapter 3, God had told the, the children of Israel that he was allowed them to cross over. And that they will cross over the river of Jordan. And he promised them that. He promised them that, that he will cross over them. But not only did he promise them that he will cross over them, he told Joshua, he said, Joshua, tell the people not only have I promised them that they will cross over, but tell them that I am with them. I just told you if you keep looking to the hills which come of your help, God's going to help you in this crossover moment of your life. Glory to God. And he told them, he said, tell them that I will be with them. He says, but in the process before he said that, tell the people of God that I will go with them. He began to tell Joshua, he said, Joshua, I need you to tell the people in Joshua 3 and verse 5. He said, Joshua, say to the people, sanctify yourself. He says, for tomorrow I will do wonders. Glory to God. See, when you begin to take out a walk of faith and be able to do what God has called you to do and be able to allow God to help you cross over, you want to begin to see wonders in your life. In your crossover moment, God says, sanctify yourself. What do he mean by sanctify yourself? Clean yourself and rid yourself of all the stuff that you have picked up on, on 2015 so that you will no longer carry all the old baggage into the new year of what God has. Sanctify yourself, clean yourself, purify yourself, allow your hands to be clean and allow your heart to be pure. In Psalms number, in Psalms, in the book of Psalms, it tells us, it says, who shall ascend unto the hills of God? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Right there where you are, I just want you to put in your spirit right now. You know what's been in your heart. You know all the things that have that you have picked up through the course of the year that had them weighed you, that had them been bottled you, that had allowed you to take on so much baggage, so much stress, so much of everything, of the cares of the world, of, of this life. Take this moment right now and, and begin to assess your life. And, and go back and, and, and just clean your hands of it. Allow your hands to be clean of it. Allow your heart to be pure. Don't hold all of that stuff. See, as you begin to cross over, you can't be weighted down and bottled down with the cares of life. So God says, sanctify yourself. He says, because Joshua will tell the people on tomorrow, I'm going to do wonders. God want to do wonders in your life. He has something great in store for you. And, and so in the crossover, he begins to tell them, he says, not only as you prepare yourself and sanctify yourself, he says, I, I'm allowed the Ark of the Covenant to go before you. I'm allowed the priest to take the Ark of the Covenant and go before you. And what does the Ark of the Covenant represent? The Ark of the Covenant represents the presence of God. Hallelujah. What more awesome thing that we can have to be able to direct us and follow us in 2016 like never ever before, like the presence of God. We may have many followers of our life. We may have people that follow us everywhere. But there's nothing like the presence of God behind and through your life. And so know that God's presence is there for you. You are not alone in this thing, but God's presence is there before you. And he begins to tell Joshua, he says, so take the Ark of the Covenant, and when the people go before you, and he says, and the Lord said to Joshua, this day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of Israel. God just prophetically declared to somebody who was on their job, who was wanting a promotion, but fear have gripped you and you didn't have enough boldness to move forward because you didn't feel confidence in yourself. God said that he was going to promote you. And just now in the scripture, he begins to say, he says, tell them I will exalt them in the midst of Israel. If you take the initiative to be to allow God to help you cross over, you don't have to worry about your player haters. You don't have to worry about those who say you're not going to be nothing, you won't make it, and you won't mount up into anything because God, by his spirit and his power that is with you, he will take and put you on display in front of all of those who said that you wasn't going to make it. Glory to God. Come on, declare that to yourself, says, I'm going to make it. 
I'm going to make it and I'm going to cross over to everything that God desired for my life to 2016 with nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing taken, and no power that is to take me down. No power that will be able to discourage me because I already got a word from God. And that word from God is that no matter what the enemy try to come bring my way, God is going to exalt me. Glory to God. He's going to allow you to be exalted in the sight of all of those who thought that your life was not going to be nothing. That all of those who thought your life was not going to be counted. But God counts you in when everybody else counts you out. Glory to God. God will count you in when everybody else have counted you out. And so he, the scripture goes on to say that they may know that I am, as I was with Moses, so am I with you. I don't know who the word of God is for out there this morning, but someone may have thought because of the things you were facing in and through your life that God wasn't with you. And, and you're going through this because you did that and you doing that. But I tell you the word of God on today not only will he exalt you, but he will show them that he's with you. Oh my God, what a word from God. What an uplifting of your spirit of, as the word of God go forth to let you know that not only will he allow you to be displayed and exalt you in front of everyone else, but he himself will also, he will also let them know and let them see that he is with you. And then the word of God begins to go on and says, he said, just as I was with Moses, so as I was with you. So the word of God says that you shall command the priests who bear the ark of the covenant, saying, when you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand there. And you may be at a standstill right now. Oh, my God. You may be standing still right now. And seem like you're not moving. But let me tell you, the word of God says stand still and see the salvation of God. As you stand forward, there's just a, a, a moment of you being still in the presence of God. That God will begin to begin to move you in and through what he has called you to. He will take you from that place in that stance of position and allow you to move forward in that place where you left from that edge and there's someone that is watching right now you may feel and sense that your life been on the edge that you've been on a cliff and look like you was just going to fall off but i tell you the power of god having you standing you don't have to worry about rocking but you can stand still and know that god has you steady he has your feet in a stabilization place because as he stable you, he's stabilizing you so that when you will move forward, you will not move forward stumbling from one side to another, but you will be able to stand tall and stand strong for what it is that God has in for you in and through your life. And so even if your life feel like you're on the edge, guess what? You're on the edge of your breakthrough. You're on the edge to your deliverance. You on the edge to seeing the greatest move of God in and through your life that you have ever, never, ever seen before. Because he even said in Isaiah, he says, I will do a new thing in your life. He said, shall it spring forth and you not know it? God will do something new in your life. And there's a new thing coming in your life. And I tell you, as you begin to allow God presence and power to go with you and as you cross over into the very thing that God is crossing over crossing you over to I declare and decree that the new thing that God has given you in and through your life let me tell you something people of God you have not been this way before this is going to be something new it's going to be something unusual it's going to be something that will literally blow your mind and everyone will know that it could not have been nobody but God that took you to, from the edge and brought you to the mountain top. Glory to God. We just bless God on to mo this morning for his word. As, as you begin to see the process that God brought them to their crossover point. But God wants you to know even in your crossover, even when you cross over something, even as you cross over your door sill of your house. 
when you cross over that seal of that door, it does not mean that what you cross over is what you cross over out of is no longer there. It's just that you decide to leave it behind. It, it's just that you decide to keep going, that you will no longer allow it to, to hold you in a holding pattern anymore. But now you are able to move forward. And so I want you to understand that even though you're crossing over doesn't mean that whatever it was is no longer there. It's just that you decide that you're going to just leave it behind. And in order to move forward, we have to leave some things behind and press toward what God has designed for us at this moment in our life. And so as you begin to experience your crossover of what God has for you, I want to give you some key principles for what it is that you need to do in the midst of you transitioning from where you are, crossing over to what God desired you to do. Number one is, the first thing you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to make sure that you, as God, part you from some things. Because when the children of Israelites, when they got ready to cross over, the word of God says that God parted the Red Sea. So as you enter into your crossover, you have to understand that God is going to allow some things to depart from your life. Some things that's going to be detached from your life. And, and to depart me to separate. And, and sometimes separation is uncomfortable. You may feel that some people have left your life. And that has been a grand part of your life for years and years and years. And, and you may be feeling some kind of way. Let me tell you. In order for God to bring you to a place in him where he, he designed for your life. Sometimes there have to be certain things, certain places, certain people has to become detached from our life because everybody can't go where God is taking you. And, and sometimes we may desire for everybody to come, but that's not God's will and purpose. And when we decide to take people in places where God has crossed us over to, that's when we begin to experience all kind of uh, chaos in our life, all kind of confusion in our life as we cross over as they did from the Jordan into the things that God promised them. You even know and remember the story of Abraham when God promised Abraham that, you know, I was going to bless you, I was going to bless your seed, I was going to bless your whole household, and I was going to make you a father of many nations. And he told Abraham, he said, but Abraham, he says, in order for you to cross over into that promised land of uh, the things that I promised, I need you to leave where you are. And I need you to leave everything that was behind you. And in leaving everything behind you, he said, I don't want you to take certain people or places with you. But yet and still, Abraham partially obeyed God and he took some people and he took some places and some things along with him. And it caused him the promise of God to be somewhat delayed in his life. And he didn't come into the full promise of God until he began to allow everything that God ordained to be departed and separated out of his life. Then he began to walk into the fullness of everything that God has for his life. So know that as you begin to cross over into what God has purposed you for, there's going to be some separation of some places, people, and things. There's going to be some things and places and people that are going to have to be separated from your life. The other thing is you're going to have to do is you're going to have to keep your eyes on God. Because before they cross over, the Ark of the Covenant had to go before them. And they had to watch and be prepared for when the Ark of the Covenant went before them. And they had to keep their eyes on God. I explained to you in the beginning that the Ark of the Covenant represents the power of God. And they had to watch the Ark of the Covenant, they had to wait and be watchful for when the Ark of the Covenant went before them so that they will know when to move in the presence of God. And so the first thing we have to do is watch God and be sensitive to the movement of God around you and around your life. Yes, you're going to have to be sensitive to God movement in your life and how he's he, he's moving in certain situations and, and how he's moving in certain areas of your life. Keep your eyes on God. Watch God. And he will show you the very thing that he's doing in and through your life. 
In the Gospel of St. John chapter 5 and 19, it says, Most surely I say, the Son of Man can do nothing by himself. But he only did that which he seen his father do. And so that means we got to keep our eyes on God. We have to stay focused upon him. And we have to watch and be sensitive how the Spirit of God is moving through certain areas of our life as we begin to cross over and move into the things that God has desired and purpose for our life. The next thing we're going to have to do is make sure as we keep our eyes on God, as we begin to cross over, we're going to have to make sure that we follow him. Follow how the directions that the directions that God is moving in and through our lives and, and how he's taking us. And then as we begin to watch God, we will be able to praise God. For the way that he's directing us. This is the year that we're going to have to be more sensitive and more keen to the things of God. Because we need to know the directions that God is taking us in. And the direction he's taking us through. And the areas that he will allow us to go. The spirit of God will instruct you. The spirit of God will instruct you. And you will know what God is doing in and through your life. The next thing part is that I want to make is part number three is we're going to have to make sure that we honor God. We're going to have to make sure that we honor God in this season like never ever before. We're going to have to make sure that we keep a holy reverence for God. Because as we begin to follow God. As we begin to watch God, part number one, and part number two, as we begin to follow God and, and to be able to see his instruction, to be able to see his movement so that we will be able to flow with the direction of God, we're going to have to make sure that we honor him and reverence him in every way. Because we have come to a place right now, people of God, where as we kind of desensitize to the things in the spirit of God, because we have seen God move in certain ways. We've seen the miraculous of God's power in, 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 in his spirit in our midst. And sometimes, because we've seen all of this here, we can take on a spirit of familiarity with God. But God is a holy God, and we cannot ever become so familiar with God that we just we just have a a, a, a sense where as we just know what God gonna do next because in this hour we don't know but we have to be very sensitive and give him honor and reverence and never take God's presence lightly glory to God never take God's presence lightly but allow God to help us that we will never allow the spirit of God to become so familiar with us that we take for granted that we know what God is doing in and through our lives for additional information regarding upcoming retreats and seminars, please call 504-450-9270. Remember, it's more than an experience, it's an encounter.